welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download Landsat TM data from Earth Explorer. So we just have a look at the bands in the TM data. So these are the bands which are available. Uh, you can see blue, green, red, NIR, SWIR, two SWIR, by, uh, SWIR bands and one thermal infra infrared band. So you can just see over here. And this is the spatial resolution of the bands you can see from band 1 to 7 it is having a spatial resolution of 30 meters and the band 6 is nothing but the uh, thermal infrared uh, band and uh, it is uh, 120 uh, meter resolution now it has been resampled to 30 meter resolution so this satellite is operation is operated from the year 1982 to the present 2000 year 13 and now we have a look at how to download this data from Earth Explorer. So in order to download this data, open a new tab in the browser and type in Earth Explorer. So you can see the first link, Earth Explorer, earthexplorer.usgs.gov. So I'll be providing this link in the description. You can have a use of it. And uh, in order to download any sort of data from uh, Earth Explorer, we need to create a login. So please do, do create an account here. If you don't have an account, I have made a video separately for it. You can have the video as a reference and uh, create your own account. So that will be I'll, that I will be putting in the cards as well as I will be putting, uh, giving it in the description link. Now uh, I need to just uh, log in so that we can download the data. Hit the button sign in so once you are doing done it uh, we'll be just coming back to the page once again and now we need to uh, specify the location which we are interested in so if you are uh, interested in us it will be defaultly selected uh, us features and you can directly search in the places which you are interested in if you are uh, searching uh, apart from us you can just click on the option world features here you can search the location name. Here in this case, I need to find the Landsat TM data for Chennai. So I'm going to hit the button show. So it will be taking a few seconds and you can see over here. So the Chennai has been come up and you can see, we just have to keep, click on the Chennai so that it will be a landing to the uh, Chennai and the Chennai will be highlighted like this. So a place mark uh, icon will be formed over here. Otherwise, you can just manually do it. I'll show you how to do that. In the map, you just have to click and make a study area like thing. So here I have used uh, four uh, points. If you want, you can just add in uh, two points or three points. That's simple. You can delete the points like this. You can delete the points. So it's so simple. So now we just uh, come down here. We need to specify the date range which we are interested in. So we basically know that uh, the Landsat TM data is available from the year 1982. So here I need a data for uh, 1993 to 1995. So we need to just uh, go to the 1993 and I'm going to go to the January month and I'm going to extend up to 1995 so this is the time period which I am interested in and now uh, we just uh, go by uh, go to the next option cloud cover here I am going to specify the cloud cover so I need a cloud cover percentage less than uh, 10 and uh, finally you can see the result options uh, result per page you can uh, have uh, 25 results per page or 10 results per page so I'm going to let it as 10 and now we're going to select the option data sets here we are going to specify which satellite we are interested in and uh, in that you can see the option Landsat and you can see the Landsat collection 2 and level 2 and here you can see the option Landsat 4 to 5 TM. So Landsat, uh, you can see a uh, TM. Uh, Landsat 4 is also having a TM sensor, and Landsat 5 is also having the T 
PM sensor. Only the difference is that uh, the operational period will be different. So let me uh, go to the additional criteria where we can select the uh, cloud cover. For example, land cloud cover. You can specify the land cloud cover. Here I am going to put it as 0 to 10. And uh, if you want, you can just uh, have a look at the uh, data generated, uh, sorry, date product generated. If you want, you can just add it. Otherwise, you can just leave it as it is. So hit the button results. Yeah, hit the button results. So once you have uh, done it, so you can see the images over here. So let me click on the first uh, image. So this is uh, for 1994. Let me have a look at it, how it looks like. And it looks like a clear image. And uh, let me now go to the option. So you can see I have selected from 1993 to 1995. And I'm just uh, getting a few images. One, two, three, four, five five images of which uh, two images having uh, a very very uh, low cloud cover so I'm going to go for it so let me have a look at the 1993 data and you can see the cloud cover is high so let me go back and uh, let me select the 1994 data so if your area of interest is not having cloud cover you can just uh, go with the cloud cover data also so in this case, my area is Chennai. So this image is clear for me. So you can also have a look at the metadata. Hit the button, show metadata and browse. Yeah. You can uh, have a uh, look at the image. Just by clicking over here, you can have the look at, uh, uh, see how clarity is the image. So you can see the image over here. Now come down, you can see the metadata, so data factorization and collection category, you can see the sensors, likewise you can see the projection, etc, etc. So let me hit the button, close. Now in order to download this, you, can, uh, you have to select this one, download options, select the download options and you can select the uh, download. You can directly download the uh, each and every band. Otherwise, you can manually download one by one band separately. That also you can be done. Otherwise, you can directly download it together as a bundle product. So within uh, five to ten seconds, the download will be automatically starting. So you can see on the top. So it is uh, going to take around 12 minutes for me. So based on uh, internet speed, the uh, speed might be de differing as well as the server uh, load. If the server is speed, download will also be uh, fast. That is what I meant to say. So you can see over here, it has been downloaded. So let us have a look at it in the folder. So this is the data which we have downloaded, the Landsat uh, TM. So let me extract the data over here. So the file has been extracted. So you can see over here, band 1, 2, band 7 data are here. So let me open this and uh, show it to you in the RJS. So let me add the data. And from band 1 to band 7. So we are also having the band number 6 that is over here. So you can see the image that we have uh, uh, downloaded. So you can check the resolution as well while uh, clicking on the image and going on the option properties. Uh, let me go to the option. Yeah, here. You can find the cell size 30 by 30. 
and uh, let me add the thermal band also thermal infrared band and let us check the resolution so it was uh, actually said to be a uh, 30 uh, 30 by 30 because they have just uh, resampled the 120 meters to 30 30 meters so now uh, let me remove this and uh, So here, just uh, select the button image analysis. And we just uh, lay stack this band together by selecting this option. So you can see the image which we have downloaded. So likewise, you can download the Landsat TM data from Earth Explorer. If you have any doubts, please do ask in the comment section. I will be answering to your questions. Thanks for watching Terra Special. Goodbye everyone. And please do subscribe to the channel. Thank you.